because it's freehand, you can't throw a line up and measure it. And your, your joints are bigger than normal on radius. You can't just assume it works for it. Nice even slope now. The main attraction is here. A minute ago, there you go. Saturday the 6th of August at 29. Saturday shift today. So, so, uh, it's his first full week today. And then first full week coming in for a long time. So we're yeah, um, going to get the front wheel finished. It's 44 doors on the top, 44 first bits to finish it. That shouldn't take me long. Uh, and for course, I'm um, just going to use up what they've got. how much of that I filmed because I thought I filmed all of it but there you go that's that section finished breaking edge on now I can get the pavement cleaned up well not just yet get it all jointed up in about you know, two or three hours get that that, that filled up just put it over with the sand cement sealed up and then hop back down here now and get stuck it cracking on with this this radius what I might do is just drag it out, get the first course all the way around on it. Okay. That patch about to die. It's in red. Anyway, straight bits done. Finished, topped off, pointed. 
I'm just going to give it a quick tidy up at the front there and punch it up. And yeah, both sides done. So, uh, mix it ready for after lunch, which I'm having now because it's 10 to 12. And then, yeah, I'm going to hop down there on the round bit this afternoon. So, I'll catch you in a bit.
on hello again it's been a while it's about ten past five now saturday ten past five just close that door yeah put a bit of a hole in the stone not much but as you can see I've filled this bit up now so I don't have to barricade it wall's finished top's finished wall's pretty much finished there's not much to go on there now brick and edge on that section and then it steps it's got five layers four steps so it goes up one there one there one there and then it ends up at that level it's a tiny little door for This is made up with it. It's a lovely feature, isn't it? And then it's going to be a big planter inside. A nice big drive, which just gets bigger and bigger as you come down. So to Monday, I've got bricks to pick up, about 60. Brick and to finish, which are all there. I've got plenty of them. Got all my solids for the ends. Um, I've got uh, holes to point on that pillar. And just to fill in the mortar. Yeah, these holes in just tidy it up. And that's it. Um, there's a bit of block paving customers asked me to do down the side where they've dug a hole and not patched them back very well, so that's another little job. And um, obviously spread the rest of that out, get the lacquer on it, so I've got the lacquer to work again for nothing. There we go, all jointed up, ready to go. That top's loaded, the mortar's ready. And then everyone because it's freehand, you can't throw a line up and measure it and your, your joints are bigger than normal on the radius you can't just assume it works brick so it works four and a half brick per pillar so it doesn't work brick anyway so each one I'm going to set out and mark it I've already marked the marks bottom marks, marks both sides let's see just get it without the joints looking too big just nice so yeah we're all set up now when I get this first this top layer in. Always work your way down so you're not dropping mortar on top of your work you've already done. Um, yeah, that's it. So um set it up on time lapse for a bit and then I'm gonna get this section in and get my dinner and then I've got four left. One, two, three, four left to do. So let's get into it. So I'll see you on the next clip. But for me it'll be in two days' time. So I'll catch you later. morning dash to the brick store in Wigan for 70 of them. Good Monday morning. Monday the 8th of August. 5 to 9. Been in the brick store this morning to pick these up. A bit dainty them up, 70 of them up. So this is our first step. As I said on Friday, Saturday. It's going to be uh, five bays, four steps. Just knock this bit down because the block work looked a bit high. It was fine on this side, but it would have shown on the other side because the way the planters drop. So I'm just going to fettle that back up. The, um, everything's going well, and then put a mix in. Just fairwoods bags, 40 kilo bags, building sand, and then I get a Monday morning mix. And you can hear that. Bags full of little stones. Not big enough to just stop me setting, but annoying enough to make it annoying. Anyway, let's crack on and get this done.
Right, 10 o'clock. And we're, well, we're not done. <coughs> That's the hardest bit done. That's the steps in. So, one, two, three, four, five. Which works out as four steps. One, two, three, four. So that's mostly balanced now, all the same size steps all around. Same amount of brick and edge. The top one might be slightly different by a brick or two. But that's it. These are going to go on freehand, obviously.
box one out. The best thing about that is each each end brick's locked on by the next brick below. So they ain't going anywhere. Apart from them ones of course. So there you go. Trying to get this tidied up. A bit of snagging on the front, a bit of pop paving on the side, and a bit of levelling out. And it's not quite two o'clock yet, so we're doing okay. So, catch you in a bit. Right, end of a long day, half five. There we go. Five is prepped. Looks huge now, everything's gone off it, it's all backed. Nice even slope now. But the main attraction is here. Shame we've got the um, shadow, but there it is. That's a straight bit. And then we turn, and then we drop. Made up with that. This was made up too. This is just um, just put that on my head that design. Okay, it looks nice. And a bit of rage as well looks nice. Nice even steps. All three and just an edge. And then a little straight bit. And I think I decided on Katarmac. So um, thanks to David at DJ for telling me uh, what depth to leave it down for Katarmac. Needs a bit, a bit, it probably just needs a bit of feckling, but that's it. That's um, the bulk of it's done where it comes to do the tarmac. It just needs a bit of fine tuning. So, um, if you like this little series, a little landscaping series for change, click the like button if you're new to the channel, click that subscribe button, 
and click the bell to receive notifications and upload our videos. And then um, you've been watching Brick Lane with Steve, Alex still on holiday. And then um, we'll catch you in the next one.